talking with a local expert this morning about getting all of your questions answered. Yeah, that's right. We've got uh, Dr. Rank right now with Swedish American. Uh, we had some questions. We ran out of time, so we wanted to ask you a few more that were coming in. Uh, one parent was uh, telling me that big question right now. You were saying, you know, services you got to keep clean, wash your hands, but right. how much is too much when it comes to washing hands? Is, is it too much, uh, too many times a day? <laughs> Well, I, I don't think it's too too many times a day if uh, if your hands can take it, if your skin can take it. Um, <clears throat> you know, it'd be contact dermatitis and dry skin. I don't think you can overwash your hands unless, again, it starts to affect your skin. Sure. Um, and as far as kids right now returning to school, a lot of parents are concerned. What do you do? It's something a lot of people are facing right now. Um, anything, any suggestions to them that would help them make the decision on whether to stay home or go in? Well, so the CDC just came out, I believe, on Wednesday with their with their guidelines and their push for schools to reopen uh, in, in the beginning of the school year. And, and I, te I tend to agree. Um, you, you know, studies have shown worldwide that transmission rate among children is low uh, and um, they do much better with the disease. So I think, you know, it's not a one size fits all. Um, I think you have to assess your risk, your family's risk. So what I've been telling people is that, you know, if you're over over one um, that, and otherwise healthy, you know, you're not, your elderly grandmother doesn't live in your house. You're not taking care of somebody who's, you know, suppressed parents are uh, otherwise healthy. Um, I think kids need to go back to school. You, you know, since kids tend to do well with the virus, um, you know, it's becoming more right now, I think, of a mental health issue for children, um, it, more even than a, a physical risk. You know, I've seen a lot more kids with depression and anxiety yeah. and behavior uh, issues. You know, parents will tell me that, you know, their five-year-old used to be so independent um, and uh, now they're clingy and they don't want mom to leave their sight kind of thing. Definitely. So um, I think, you know, everybody needs to assess their individual risk, but you need to get back, especially before, I mean, what are the odds that we're going to go all winter without getting locked down again? Sure. Probably slim to none. Also, in the Midwest, in the winter, we might not see the sun very much for, you know, three or four months. It's cold. You can't get outside. So, you know, pretty soon you won't have the option. Do I want to stay at home, stay at home and, and educate or um uh, or going to school, you're, everyone's going to be at home. So well, while you can, I would get out. I would try to uh, enjoy life as much as possible. Don't take unnecessary risks. Um, but uh, but I recommend that kids need to get back in school and, and get a little bit of normalcy in their life. Yeah, so many questions this morning. We yeah. appreciate you being with us. Yeah, we definitely, and parents, you know, parents, doctors going through so much right now. I'm yeah. sure just this whole process and pandemic has been a lot for you, but we appreciate you taking the time to answer our questions. Uh, it means a lot, uh, so we appreciate that. No problem.